Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Vision Manor Moments. Hi, Dr. Sims and his coach Juanita. Thank you for joining the Vision Manor Moments broadcast. I'm Nanette Floyd Patterson, the Vision Manifestation Queen. I'm a licensed professional counselor and master his coach. I help Christian women visionaries get free from vision blockers, get clear on the vision so they can get moving. How are you doing today? It is a beautiful day here in North Carolina. Here's Coach Juanita. How are you doing today, darling? Hi, An Annie195. I, I know you're blessed. I know you're blessed today. I want to welcome everyone to Vision Manor Moments. I'm Nanette Floyd Patterson, the Vision Manifestation Queen. I'm a licensed professional counselor and master his coach. And I just want to welcome you to Vision Manor Moments where every Friday at 1130 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I come in and give you a little manna as it relates to your vision. Now, as I said earlier, I help Christian women visionaries get free from vision blockers, get clear on the vision so they can get moving. Thank you so much for those hearts. Welcome replay viewers. Today, we're talking about shame-based anger. Now, for the last uh, week or so, I've been talking about the types of anger, and there are so many that they can get, it could get very overwhelming. And so what I decided to do was to choose those types of anger that definitely get gets uh, get in the way of you manifesting the vision that God has already given you permission to do. Hi, his coach Francis. Welcome. I hope you're doing well today. So today we're talking about shame based anger. Now this is dear to my heart because I, I meet so many women who are, um, who have a desire to do what God has called them to do, but they have hidden secrets that is causing them to be ashamed. And because of that, they are afraid to move. Now, before I get into the presentation, I always give you superfood for the day. I always give you superfood for the day. And so the superfood for the day is Hebrews 8 and 12. Hebrews 8 and 12. It says, for I will be merciful toward their inequities and I will remember their sins no more. That's the superfood for today. Now, what I want you to do with the superfood, I want you to chew on it as I share with you what shame-based anger is. So today's superfood is Hebrews 8, 12. That says, for I will be merciful toward their inequities and I will remember their sins no more. Now, another translation said it this way. It says, I will forgive their inequities and remember their sins no more. And so I want you to chew on the superfood for today as we talk about shame-based anger. Now, the reason why my broadcast is called Vision Manor Moments is because I don't want to take a lot of your time. And so my broadcast will last anywhere from five to 10 minutes. And please feel free to comment and ask questions. So again, the type of anger that we're talking about today is shame-based anger. And the reason why we're talking about this type of anger is because it will interfere with manifesting God's vision. So it is a problem. Anything, any person, place, or thing that interferes with you manifesting God's vision is a vision blocker. 
And on this broadcast, we talk about vision blockers and I give you tips, tools, and strategies on how to overcome the vision blockers. So we're talking about shame based anger today. Now, as we begin to talk about shame based anger, it's important that you know what it is first. And, and I will show my face uh, today, but I need to make sure that you understand what shame based anger is and um, so you can take notes. So first you need to know that shame based anger is expressed when the slightest criticism sets a person off because of their own shame. Now shame based anger is an internal type of anger that is deeply rooted in being ridiculed at some point in your life. Um, it's deeply rooted in you. Um, maybe there was a season where you were doing something that you knew was contrary to God's will and way. And because you still have memories of those uh, of that event or whatever it was that you did, you are ashamed and you're holding on to that shame. Even though you hear God's voice clearly and he's tell, telling you to move forward, you still allow those memories of that bad thing, quote unquote, that you did, that thing that um you feel ashamed of. Now, the other root cause of this type of shame is having loved ones who have criticized us or made us feel less of a person because of something we did. And we carry that shame into adulthood. So again, shame based anger is a vision blocker and it is expressed when the slightest criticism sets off a person's own shame. Now here's an, here's a good example. Say you have a couple that just got married, right? And the husband's wife, she's a little shapely, but he loves her shapely figure. And so one day on their honeymoon, he makes a comment about her hips, right? He makes a comment about her hips and she immediately goes to 100. She goes off on him and she is so enraged because he's talking about her shapely hips. Now remind you, I said, mind you, I said that he enjoys her figure, but he did not know that her parents used to make fun of her and comment about her shapely hips. And her mom would say frequently, you ought to be ashamed of yourself because you're overweight or, you know, she, um, the mom pretty much made it an issue that her hips are wide. And so when she was a little girl, this is just an example. When she was a little girl, her mom made her feel ashamed of her size. And because of that, she's carried that into adulthood. And so being that her husband lovingly made comments about her hips, she went off. She's enraged not realizing at that point in time that that's what he liked. But the only thing she could remember is being ridiculed because of her size. So she has shamed based anger, right? Do you know anybody like that? Who at the slightest criticism, they go off, they go to 100. Again, this particular type of anger is a vision blocker because if you have shame based anger, you're holding on something, you're holding on to something internally that's keeping you from moving forward. You have uh, possibly a hidden shame and because of that hidden shame, you're stuck. 
Well, if you can remember the superfood for the day, Hebrews 8 and 12, this is, this is, is this is the solution to shame-based anger. You must recognize, believe, and trust that if you have confessed whatever that thing was that made you feel ashamed, if you've confessed that, that God is merciful, he has already forgiven that thing, right? And so Hebrews 8 and 12, our superfood for today that says, for I will be merciful toward their inequities and I will remember their sins no more. This superfood for today, Hebrews 8, 12, is the solution to allowing the shame to be released to the Father. He's already forgiven you for whatever that thing was, right? Now, if you have people you love who have criticized you and that shame is coming from people that are influential in your life, the solution to that is to forgive them. The solution to that is to forgive them. So again, the solution and strategy for shame-based anger is to believe the word of God that says God has already forgiven that inequity, whatever that thing was that made you feel ashamed. And he remembers it no more. Now, see what we do, we allow people to remind us of those inequities. And so we have to make up in our minds to not allow people's memory of things that we've done that we are ashamed of to cause us to have or to, to express um, rage or anger because we're still harboring that shame. Release it to the father, believe that he has already forgiven the sin and remember Kim. I always say that you have to keep it moving. So again, the solution to shame-based anger is first realize that whatever that thing was that you did that make, that makes you feel ashamed if you've confessed it, God has already forgiven you and he remembers it no more. If that shame came from someone you love, the solution is to forgive that person. Actually, in both scenarios, you have to think about forgiveness. Forgive yourself. God has already forgiven you for whatever that thing was that you feel ashamed about. He's already forgiven you. So you have to forgive yourself. If your shame has come from a loved one, it's important that you forgive them so you can be free to move forward. Okay, so again, we're talking about shame-based anger and how it is definitely a vision blocker if it's keeping you from doing whatever he has asked you to do because we already know that he's if he's given it to you to do, you already have permission. So you don't need anybody else's permission to do it, right? And so I did... Uh, I did say that I was going to uh, show my face. I just have to switch over here. So at the end of each broadcast, at the end of each broadcast, I like to pose four what I call transformational questions. And those questions are, what are you tolerating? What can you control? What are you committed to doing? And what is God saying in this particular presentation? What is God saying about this shame that you feel? We've already talked about the superfood Hebrews eight and 12. So it's clear. You just have to forgive yourself, right? So I would love for you to continue to connect with me. I am on, um, 
I am on Periscope every Friday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love for you to join me here. Uh, thank you for the hearts. Please share if you know of someone who would benefit from knowing how to overcome vision blockers so they can get moving on whatever it is that God has called them to do. Hey, invite them. Share, please. Again, I'm Nanette Floyd Patterson, a licensed professional counselor, master his coach, and I would love for you to follow me on Facebook. My information is there on the screen. I will not repeat it. And also, if you know of someone struggling with anger, I do have a free ebook that I would like to offer you. I don't have a, a slide for it, but if you can write this down, bit.ly forward slash capital B, capital G, capital A, capital T, 2017. If you would like to know how to take rule over anger, please visit that link. Again, that link is uh, bit.ly forward slash capital B, G, A, T, 2017. Again, I want to thank you for joining me today. I will be on uh, Facebook Live on Monday at 1230 Eastern Standard Time, but I will be back here next Friday at 1130 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Whew. God bless.